Now, State President Võ Văn Thượng and his visiting Philippine counterpart Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos agreed to strengthen cooperation between the two countries in various spheres during their talks in Hanoi on January 30th. At the talks held following a state-level welcome ceremony for the Philippine leader, President Võ Văn Thượng stressed the significance of his guest's first-ever state visit to Vietnam in his capacity as President of the Philippines. The visit is significant as it will contribute to creating new momentum for the bilateral strategic partnership. The host said, congratulating the Philippines on its socio-economic achievements, notably its economic growth, which is among the highest in the region. President Marcos Jr. lauded Vietnam's outstanding results in socio-economic development and external affairs over the past time, and affirmed that Vietnam remains the only strategic partner of the Philippines in the ASEAN. He also expressed his hope for more effective and substantive cooperation between the two countries. They agreed to strengthen cooperation in politics and diplomacy through the exchange of visits and contacts at all levels and work together to set out an action program implementing the strategic partnership for 2025-2030. The two countries will also enhance collaboration in economy, striving to soon raise the bilateral trade revenue to 10 billion US dollars by easing trade barriers, facilitating exports, optimizing trade agreements in the region, and encouraging their businesses it to invest in such sectors as processing, high-tech agriculture, infrastructure, and oil and gas. The bilateral cooperation is expected to be expanded to new important fields like digital economy, green economy, digital transformation, circular economy, and renewable energy. Now, European businesses with advantages in technology, capital, and management experience are one of Vietnam's leading partners. Many signals show that the European uh, business community is placing a lot of trust in expanding cooperation and investment in Vietnam. As the world leading medical equipment manufacturing enterprise, Germany's Bond Group has been present in Vietnam since 1992. The number of employees of the enterprise has reached more than 1,600 people with three factories. Vietnam is a very stable, has a very stable environment over the couple of last years, uh, and German investors are looking for. On the other hand, we can also see that uh, the policies uh, are improving in Vietnam, which makes it also more easy for investors to come here. Siemens, a leading technology corporation from Europe, will sponsor 100 copyrights of mechanical design, machining, and simulation software for smart factory training, especially the semiconductor industry design engineer training program. The confidence of European business operating in Vietnam is showing signs of recovery when the business confidence index reached 46.3 in the fourth quarter of 2023, a growth level signaling stability. 31% of companies plan to expand their workforce and 34% intend to increase investment levels of clear growth. The confidence of the foreign business community in Vietnam is increasing. Last year, foreign direct investment reached 36.61 billion United States dollars, an increase of 32.1% compared to 2022. This is clear evidence of growing confidence in the Vietnamese economy. Vietnam also reached the top 10 destinations for European businesses last year. Many experts believe that this is a positive signal for new expectations in investment cooperation and technology transfer from Europe to Vietnam. On the evening of January 30th, more than 300 overseas Vietnamese in Thailand attended the program Homeland Spring 2024 organized by the Vietnamese Embassy in Thailand. Attending were Vietnamese Ambassador to Thailand, Phan Chi Tang, Overseas Representative Thai Police, international students, embassy staff, and agencies Vietnamese official next to the embassy. Speaking at the meeting, Ambassador Phan Chi Tang revealed the socioeconomic development of Vietnam affirmed the main achievements of the foreign policy achieved by the party and state in the past year, has raised Vietnam's position to new highs regarding bilateral relations with Thailand. Ambassador Phan Chi Tang emphasized strong relationship between the two countries in 2023 with many important milestones. 
The year 2023 marked the 10th anniversary of the Vietnam-Thailand Strategic Partnership. On January the 30th, the Consulate General of Vietnam in the coastal province of Priya Sihanouk, southwest of the Kingdom of Cambodia, organized the spring celebration 2024. Consul General Lai Sun Chien sent the community wishes of a happy, peaceful, prosperous new year, according to the Consul General. In 2023, in the context of regional and world developments, despite complicated and difficult changes, Vietnam still maintains peace, stability and economic growth, continuing firmly on the path of prosperous developments. Last year, Cambodia successfully organized the seventh National Assembly election. Prime Minister Samdek Hun Manet inherited the achievements of the senior leaders and continues to lead the country to develop steadily in peace, stability and prosperity. A program entitled Vietnamese State Old Quarter Tate 2024 celebrating the Lunar New Year 2024 has opened at Kim Ngân Community House, Hanoi's Hoàn Kim District. Traditional rituals such as the procession to present offerings at the communal house gate, the ceremony to declare the Tang Huang and worship the crop ancestors, and the ceremony of erecting the nail tree are adapted in the program. The procession to present offerings at the communal house started from the Heritage House at 87 Maame Street, passed through Hanoi El Quarter area to the Kim Ngân Communal House. More than 300 people joined the procession, including up to 200 worshippers, most of whom were of the young generation. Those participating in the procession own wear traditional five panel dress. The people performing the ceremony wear autak, or white sleeve shirt, while the rest wear out chen or short sleeve dress. The offerings are traditional Hanoi crab products such as green rice cake and sweet lotus desert. The program also features traditional folk activities such as building bamboo trees, rappling caves, and exchanging and introducing craft village products.